I finally got One UI 6 for the Samsung Galaxy A53, which will give you the chance to test the One UI 6 running on a A53 mid-segment phone versus the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra One UI 6, guys. But just to try to recap before we start, a lot of changes from One UI 5.1 to One UI 6. Quick panel, you know the story, the new button layout. We have all so many new things, lock screen, home screen, multitasking, Samsung keyboard, contact sharing, where like the change lock is really huge it's a monster right but in reality i want to see how well this is going to work on the a53 and how well it's going to stack against my samsung galaxy s23 ultra so without any further ado let me update the a53 to one ui6 and let's start the comparison so here we are trying to customize the lock screen one of the changes in one ui6 is besides of course changing the phone here from the clock to be able to move this around your screen and as we can see this works pretty well also on the a53 and with that we are also able to change the colors so fonts are here and the option to move this around the screen works so i would say the first change is implemented into the very same way it was implemented here in one ui6 and now we are going to turn to what is perhaps the biggest redesign in one ui6 over one ui5 and this is this new quick panel as we see, it's pretty much the same. We have this four section with the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity. Here all are quick toggles, then the settings for the display with the brightness, the eye comfort shield and the dark light mode. And at the end, we have the option to control our smart home devices on both phones. Now I've also using Google Home on my S23 Ultra. And I think that if you install Google Home, you're gonna have also the option to use Google Home instead of SmartThings. But right now it's just one-to-one. -one, so, so far, so good. Now let's pay attention to the media player. I'm running the same tune on both phones. It's over the horizon here and here as well. And if everything works fine, I should be able to see here the new media player. A lot of people out there really love it. I myself love it as well, because here we just have this very nice indicator with the waveform of what you're listening. And also you have the option to collapse and uncollapse it. So far, I would say one-to-one -one with the One UI 6 implementation on the more premium version on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. The next thing I want to check are the new emojis. As you know, the emojis in One UI 6 has been completely redesigned. Some people love this change, some people don't. Uh, what I can see, by the way, is that this looks different. So it seems that I'm having the new emojis on my S23 Ultra, but it seems that the emojis on the A53 from One UI 6 are still the old one. So definitely this is one of the first changes to be observed. Now let's go inside the connections and check the toggles. So right now it's Wi-Fi on and off, Wi-Fi on and off. I would say it looks 100% identical. So new toggles, One UI 6, Android 14 are also in A53. If you have been following my channel or other tech channels, you probably know that One UI 6 also implemented a new font. All right, so the default phone right now is that one, okay? And I see it's pretty much the same, so absolutely new phone in One UI 6 on both my S23 Ultra as well on my A53. From what we can see, it seems that all phone settings are the same. And as I'm back on my home screen, the next thing to check is the camera. Why? Because in One UI 6, Samsung changed the bar navigation here with the icons. It's redesigned. And of course, there are some other changes, Right now I'm just looking to confirm that the UI changes are here and I can absolutely confirm they're here. Now, of course, I have a bit more modes here on the S23 Ultra, but when I'm changing the megapixels on the A53, I can pretty much see that the same menu applies. And now it's gonna get a bit more interesting because we are going to check if all the new camera features are also in the A53. First things first, the auto FPS function is here as well, but you can only turn it on and off. In the S23 Ultra, I can decide to use the auto FPS for 30 FPS videos only or for 30 FPS and 60 FPS video. But I think this is understood since here, this is the flagship phone. Also, something that is very, very important, guys, we can also see that the menu is a bit different. So it starts with intelligent features. The first thing here is scene optimizer, right? And you cannot see the scene optimizer here because on One UI 6 for the S series, they brought it under the so-called advanced intelligence 
intelligence option, which seems to be completely missing here in the A53. And this is no surprise, I guess, because the S series is the more premium one. With using advanced intelligence options, I'm able to use maximum quality optimizations. And even with the maximum setting, I can disable the scene optimizer. So I can turn it on and off. Then I can go to medium, which will be a compromise between capture time with doing less optimization. So probably result into improved shutter luck less luck and of course i can then go to minimum which is really taking the least processing which means probably you'll get your faster shutter speed now i don't see this here and um, that's interesting but again this is the a series and this here is the s series and while we're here, another setting to check is the watermark. Now, with the One UI 6, Samsung gave us more options on the watermark. So it's the model name, which you can edit. It's the date, it's the time. You can also change the alignment. And I can confirm that the implementation in A and a series in One UI 6 for the watermark seems to be absolutely the same. Another new option would be the swipe up down to switch the cameras which is actually quite useful. You can just do like this and swipe between the back and the front camera. So I'm also happy to see and to confirm that this feature exists on the A-Series for One UI 6. I'm also going to install the camera assistant to check what options I have in the A-Series devices because with the camera assistant, you'll get additional settings. Initially, the camera assistant started as a good lock module, but it immediately integrates inside the camera menu. So camera assistant here, camera assistant there. 2x crop shortcut, of course, is missing here. Auto HDR on and off, also missing here. We start from picture softening, which is about this. So the two option, 2x crop and auto HDR apparently are missing. Again, I think this has to do with the fact that this is an A-series device. But then we have the picture softening, which is the same. Auto lens switching also missing. The camera setup here is totally different. And um, guys, there are other things that are missing. So prioritize focus over speed is also not available here, which is set. But then again, camera assistant works. And of course, we're gonna have limited options compared to what we see in the S series. Let's now open the gallery and see how it works. Inside the gallery, there are some changes introduced only with One UI 6. When you open a picture and you you swipe up a bit, you're gonna get options to edit it, like apply a portrait effect if that's a person, trigger object eraser, and also remaster. This was not available before in the One UI 5. Here, that's a person, so I can go directly click portrait effect, and the software will analyze the picture, will allow me to either create a portrait, like see, change the level of blur, right, and probably also apply some of them other tricks. So I'm happy to see and report that this is also available in One UI 6. But let's check something important, and this will be the new multi drag and drop feature. Now, in One UI 6, when I hold a picture, I'm able to move it around, and I can also go on my home home screen and just decide to paste it somewhere, right? Let's see if this works here as well. Well, I can see that I can multi drag and drop. Okay, but how do we know that this feature really works? When we select an icon, right? I can hold the icon with my finger and with my other finger, I'm able to navigate through the screens, which was not available in One UI 5, but we're happy to report that it works here. Now let's check some of the more complicated functions. Like I want to edit a picture. Starting One UI 6, I'm able to get all my edits and save them, right? Save them as a template. So let's say I want to apply some different settings for that pic. I can even go and try directly to apply filters, right? So let's say I like this um, sort of editing. I can always go back here and I can copy the edits, okay? Now I can save the picture and I can go and choose some other picture like this one, just go here and paste the edits, which will immediately apply the same filter, the same settings for the highlights, exposure, everything that I manipulated manually. So this is really key. Photo editing, copy and pasting of the settings works. And it's nice to see that it has been also implemented on the A series. Another small change implemented by Samsung was changing the very long titles like Samsung Health or Samsung Music to just shorter titles. And we can see that this has also made its way on the A series. Now let's go inside the settings menu and see what changes are made here. One of the new things inside One UI 6 is the new modes and routines. We have sleep, theater, driving, exercise, relax, work. Of course, I've added a few more, but yes, it seems that all the new modes and routines have made their way also on the A-series. Something very important, we also have the new standalone battery menu, 
Remember on the One UI 5X, the battery was under device in care. Right now, battery is standalone. And yeah, I know you're gonna hate it guys, but the way the information is displayed on the screen on time is also <laughs> the new one, which I know people don't really like. Why? Because you will not be able to get a full 100% realistic view on the screen on time. They only measure a 24 hour period, which is also what happens on Xiaomi devices and on iPhones, on Pixels, which is a bit sad, but there is a solution. There are third party softwares that can help with this. Security and privacy also got an overhaul in One UI 6. Now, when you see what I have here in the S23 Ultra, I have something called the auto blocker, which can decide and can help you with improving the security of your phone by just turning some checks on applications, blocking some unauthorized sources if you want to install some apps that are not certified, and even when your phone is hooked up to an USB cable to don't run any malicious code, let's say via ADB. Now, the auto blocker is also here, which is very nice to see. So block software updates by USB cable, messaging app protection. We can turn this function on and then we are gonna get all this protection. Again, really One UI 6 implementation in this case is one to one. Now let's go back to the user interface part. In One UI 6, if I open one application and I decide to use it in pop-up mode, this is the pop-up mode. And the moment I go into the recent menu, it will stay in a pop-up mode and it will not collapse. Now it's interesting to see if we're gonna have the same behavior also on One UI 6 implemented on the A series. Let's do this check. I'm gonna enter now the recent menu and yes, I can confirm that the application will still remain in the pop-up state and it will not minimize itself. Like for example, if I am to just do like this, I'm gonna get the app minimized. And in One UI 5.x, the moment you go into the recent menu, the pop-up will shrink and it's gonna get minimized. Now let's check some of the widgets because remember when Samsung launched One UI 6 stable for the first time, it was not really ready. There were those bugs when you close a widget, the animation was kind of broken. So let me open the weather widget and check the animation. This is it, this is how it looks like. Now I'm gonna minimize it here, pay attention to the animation. Pretty, pretty much the same. Now, before I wrap up the video, I wanna check what your requests are. Some people are asking what the security patch code is. I think I answered this. Panatube is asking on a check between the A53 animations versus the S23 Ultra animations to just get a rough idea how much of this experience will the A53 users get. And there is also a question about the Note 20 Ultra. I don't know if the One UI 6 will make it to the Note 20 Ultra. I don't think so, but we need to check. Now, let's go back on the home screen, guys, and let's initiate some animation testing. And from what we see right now, it seems that it's pretty on par, which is right now almost like one-to-one -one the same experience. Now, because this here is a premium phone, you'll have blur applied in real time, and this will not happen on the A-series. And I can now show you guys. So see what happens when I decide to go for my notifications, right? The moment I start swiping down, I've blurred applied in real time. This is not gonna happen here, okay? See what happens? When I decide to go for my notifications, the layer underneath will just dissolve, but there will be no blur in real time. And I think that this is just reserved for the more premium A-series. So to answer to Panatube, for sure blur will not be there with One UI 6. The same story was also with One UI 5. And now we can do some other checks. Always, you know, I'm starting with this, okay? Now, in mind that both phones should run 120 hertz. They do have this, okay? So this is how it looks like when I'm just entering the home screen settings. Seems to be quite nice and quite okay. I'm gonna go inside the wallpaper and style, and it really seems one-to-one. -one. There are no things that are missing from the One UI 6 implemented on the A53, at least in the wallpaper section. But now let's go back on the home screen and let's open some applications and folders. So let's start with this, right, folder opening, okay. Uh, one more time. And now let's open Messenger. So I'm gonna open Messenger, all right. Of course, this is a quicker phone. Now I'm gonna exit, and this is the closing animation. One more time, I'm gonna go inside, open Messenger, close it. 
seems to be one and the same. Pretty much the same again, the S23 Auto is just a little bit faster here. The only thing I can confirm is missing is the blur in several sections, because when you open a folder, you're gonna get a blur, what some people might refer to a fake blur. Of course, when you do this here, see, no blur is applied. When you go inside the folders, there's gonna be a blur, right? And I think it looks quite nice. Now, maybe not really the same like on the S23 Ultra, not so smooth, right? Not so complex, but still, they have added the blur effect. I'm not sure if that's a fake blur or not. I don't really care so much. The only thing I'm sure is that when you go inside your notifications, then of course the blur that's gonna be applied is different, missing here. Now, what about notifications, guys? We can see the very same grouping still applies. So we can just check them like this. You can dismiss them on the left or on the right. So it pretty much seems that they look the same. Then we can go back and we can click here on the notification settings just to see if everything is the same and from what we can see, it seems that this is the case. Up notification, you can sort them by priority and also by time if you want. You can also check the lock screen notifications, decide the style to be used, do not disturb advanced settings. So I would say that most of the things that we have here, we can also get on the A53. Blur is not gonna be on that level, but the implementation here is probably 95% of the same. You're gonna get the same customization options. You're gonna get the new media player, you're gonna get the new quick panel. So it seems that One UI 6 is really working well on the A53. Remember Remember the sophisticated copy and paste of edits inside the gallery, the multi drag and drop, it's all there. And sadly, some of the camera settings didn't really make its way to the A series, but I just think this is due to the fact that we have a very different camera setup on both phones. And guys, if you like videos like this, well, like the video, this helps me a lot. Thanks so much for spending time and watching this video. Stay safe, feel over, and bye.